Everything you see here you can find at your local grocery store. I usually get my stuff at King Collins or Stop and Shop or wherever you choose to find your groceries. These are all the seasoning that I used. For the bell peppers and the white onions, I had previously chopped them all up. I used a device that I got at King Collins. I believe it's called Mr. Perfect Cook or somewhere in that realm. I'm not too sure, but that's it right there. And it dices up peppers and all other types of vegetables pretty well. So in the bowl, I'm bringing four cans of tuna drain. I usually get the ones in water, not the one in oil, because oil usually makes it mushy. And now I'm adding all the seasoning to it. I'm don't include salt or the Maggie cubes when seasoning my tuna. I'm now adding all the peppers previously chopped and I'm stirring it in. Now in a different pan, I'm gonna bring about four or five cups of water to a boil and I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil and I'm gonna add the seasoning, garlic salt, black pepper, parsley flakes, and kosher salt, but I eyeball my measurements. I don't really do measurements like that. I just usually eyeball what I add to. Now I'm gonna chop up some garlic and set it to the side, and I'm gonna melt half a teaspoon of butter, and I'm gonna crush the Maggi cube and melt a Maggi cube in the butter. Now the water is boiling, I'm adding my noodles, and I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes only. You don't want to go over 10 minutes, it'll make it really mushy. Now I'm melting the Maggi cubes and I'm adding the garlic that I had previously peeled and chopped up earlier. Now I'm adding the tuna, I'm going to let that cook with the Maggi and the garlic for about 10 minutes, covered, uncovered, then now I'm going to add the peas and I'm going to let that sit for about another 10 minutes and let that cook all together for about 10 to 15 minutes and cover. Now I'm going to drain my pasta and I'm using a little bowl under to capture the water because I don't like the water going back into the pasta, especially if it's in the sink. I find that to be very unsanitary. And now I'm adding my ragu to a separate smaller pan because my husband doesn't eat anything white. He doesn't like white sauce at all. I'm just, I just love ragu so that's why we are making two separate um, tuna casseroles your choice to, with or without the ragu sauce. And I'm just gonna let the ragu boil, cook for a little bit, then I add the tuna and I just covered it again. And this is the end result. That was my husband's and this one is mine. I'm just adding some Parmesan cheese to mine's. And it was simple and fast and quick and easy to make. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more.